here's a great way to create a timeline. <clears throat> Again, within Studies Weekly, um, teachers have access to this and can send it out to the parents. But these are resources that we suggest, digital different digital um, components that you could use with our product. Below every one of the articles, uh, teachers have this information. This is not on the student account, but it's the teachers have it, so they could shoot this over as an email to the parents or to the students. What they would do, what the teacher would do, is they would come here and they would find um, the different resources that are part of this uh, uh, unit. So they click on K6 General Resources, and then they're going to come down here where it says Lesson Resources. Click on that, and they're going to click the very first one that says Digital Developments. You can download this, you can send it, um, but I'm going to show you what this is what what this is about. There's digital developments in here for other things, but today we're going to look for something that could help us with a timeline because that's what the activity is that we've chosen to do. So somewhere around here, we have different resource names. We have what they're for, the cost, if any, all those different things that uh, are helpful for you to make decisions on what you could use. Free is always good. <clears throat> so we'll have that information over here on the right-hand side and then what the product is over on the left hand side and different things that you could that they would be used for so in here there is one somewhere it's a timeline generator and i believe it's right here timeline maker so i'm gonna if i was to click on that it's going to bring that this up and then you can go in and you can make a timeline based off of the information that you've read that you've discovered in that unit so for example i started one here I just went to a gold unit and started reading that and found out that there were several different dates that things happened. So with this specific article, uh, um, in July of 1839, John Sutter arrives to California. The summer of 1847, he asked James Marshall to build the mill. And then in 1848, um, the winter of 1848, the mill is well under construction. And this is around the time when they started finding the gold. So once you put that information in here, then you can hit generate the timeline. And brings that information up here and then you can save that you can print it out and save it as a copy and send it to your teacher teachers would have it and they would know that you're well on track with understanding some of the different timeline structures and things that are happening for that specific article great fun way of doing this